This video will talk about knowledge and appraisal personality architecture or CAPA by Savone. This is part of the dynamic personality approach. First, it begins with an event occurring. This then triggers people to respond subjectively to the event, to inject some subjective meaning. As a result, people construct meaning by employing pre-existing knowledge systems, which is similar to accommodation from Piaget's cognitive development theory. As a result of placing these pre-existing knowledge systems, it can produce knowledge for the individual, which are situational beliefs, self-schemas, and these are enduring structures and also it can produce appraisals, which are judgments that concern meaning of encounters for oneself, whether one is able to change. This then feeds into beliefs, evaluative standards and aims or goals, which makes up the crux of this whole theory of the knowledge and appraisal personality architecture. Examples of beliefs which are a type of knowledge, include self-schemas and situational beliefs, like beliefs about oneself and the world, as well as appraisal, such as the self-efficacy appraisal, which are beliefs about one's relation to an encounter. Next, there are evaluative standards. Evaluative standards knowledge includes ethical standards, as well as self-worth criteria, and evaluative standards, which are types of appraisals, include standards for evaluating ongoing performance. And as of aims and goals, types of knowledge of aims and goals include personal goals, personal or interpersonal aims. And the types of aims or goals which are appraisals include intentions in action, personal goals, which are the aims that one has during these encounters. Scott and Savone in 2016 developed a clinical personality assessment based on Kappa theory. These include three major points, such as number one, to identify personal structures which are relational schemata, self-regulation, temperament, beliefs about relations. Number two, to identify if-then signatures, which are the situational approach, emotion, coping patterns. For example, if something happens, then how would someone react to it? Number three is to map personality structures of the if-then signatures by identifying the most relevant structures to problematic situations. Through this clinical personality assessment, one can judge the relevance of psychological structures and deduce problematic psychological situations. These situations interact with personality components and it needs to target thoughts, expectations, goals, experiences and effects. An interpretation into traits by this theory includes how personality traits seen of as a result of dynamic processes and not causes of behavior. So to evaluate this knowledge in appraisal personality architecture, it is both nomothetic and ideographic. It, however, is very complex and it is very hard to predict anything with this theory. It is, however, useful in a clinical utility, but it minimizes the basis of biology and doesn't address evolution. Thanks for watching.